Hey, first and foremost, I'd like to say, Paul, Halal, Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Rakar Kadash. Of the great millstone who taught us the truth. Shalom and salutations to the hopeful elect, the Akim out there spreading the gospel throughout the four corners of the earth and sincerity and truth and present their bodies as a living sacrifice as the scripture teaches us to do. I write on the brother Yahweh from the great millstone Chicago camp on the camera, you know, the brother Kanasa. And uh, basically, you know, we just out here on the Shabbat, you know, the first day of the memorial, the blowing of the trumpets, actually. And um, they basically giving an offering. You know, to the Lord, because we give an offering to the Lord by fire. But hey, the spirit of the Lord is a consuming fire. We come in the spirit of the Lord, giving them offering, the fruit of our lips. All right, this doing this work, this labor of love, man. And, and and it's a labor of love to preach the downfall of this society, no matter what may be happening in your life, because the downfall of this society is the exaltation of the nation of Israel. Now, on a singular level, and on a the whole nation level, but we're not the whole nation. The Lord ain't dealing with the whole nation. He about to eradicate two thirds of this nation. But the scriptures say he who humbles himself out of the elect, they say he who humbles himself should be exalted. He who exalts himself should be humble. Hey, the whole elect is going through the humbling process right now for the exaltation of the nation of Israel. All right, so nevertheless, let me just get a couple of scriptures. This is Jeremiah 28 and 8. It says, The prophets that have been before me and before thee of old. Both prophesied against many countries and against great kingdoms of war and of evil and of pestilence. And that's what you see. You know, even the prophet Jeremiah was, was basically saying that he was basically saying to hear that the prophets that have been before him, man, and the prophets that are after them, all the prophets are always come in this same spirit, man. Yeah, you know? we're we're always uh being our lot, you know what I'm saying, even at the end. Matter of fact, let me get that for you. Okay, okay. Let me get something for it because the brother had made a point. And it's, and it's the same with the two thirds because we have to have somebody to prophesy against. You know, they're the minions. You know, they're the minions under Esau following his will and not the will of Yahweh by Shemi This is Revelation 22 and 11. It says, He that is unjust, let him be unjust still. He that is filthy, let him be filthy still. And he that is righteous, let him be righteous still. And he that is holy, let him be holy still. It says, Behold, I come quickly. My reward is with me to give every man according as his work shall be. I am the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end, the first and the last. So Yahweh Shai said himself, let them be still be in their lot. Them that is holy, let them be holy. Them that is filthy, let them be filthy. Hey, why do you think Yahweh Shai said in the first chapter of the book of Revelations, he's coming and every eye shall see him? He said, even those that are pierced him. All right, you think you got some Roman soldier over 2,000 years old? You think Yahweh Shai going to pull him? pull his bones out the dust and punch him in the face? No. That's talking about reincarnation. Everybody is back here in their lots and the, and the, and the Lord's reward is with him. The two-thirds have built up their reward. The one-third, which includes the 144,000, the elect of Israel is fighting for their reward. Alright? Everybody's going to get their pay. But the prophets are out here, as I just read in Jeremiah, prophesying the downfall of this kingdom of war and a pestilence and a, and, and a famine and evils. Evils are coming to this earth and Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai is bringing his judgment. This is Jeremiah 44 and 4. He said, How be it, I sent unto you all my servants the prophets, rising early and sending them, saying, Oh, do not this abominable thing I hate. But they hearken not, nor incline their ear to turn from their wickedness to burn no incense to other gods. And that's what our people do. They enter these churches, they enter Islam, Taoism, Confucianism, Shintoism, Shamanism, Catholicism, any ism, anything outside of what embodies being a Hebrew Israelite and living up to the standard and the accountability that Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai gave us as a nation. That's what you will find our people in. The so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, man. The way of this world, you know. These niggas are future. You know, these women are Megan the Stallion. These, these niggas are Uzi Burks. They're weirdos, man. Jake, I, they're fucking demons, man. And the rest of them, like, they like to be love, you know, brother in the spirit world, uh, Priest Ben Lloyd used to say back in the day, or oh, pussy beggars like genuine. Uh, these niggas are into all type of madness. But the Lord gave the sign, he set it up through the prophets, and this place is going to be rightfully judged, man. Especially you walk out, you cast away, you fall out. You damn niggers, you family members, you women who walked out on the prophets. All of you people are fucking doomed, man. 
great miseries are coming upon this place, and it has been said before. Now it's the time for it. You, you want to say something? Yeah, I was saying uh, basically many antichrists. You know what right. I'm saying? Because anti right. means against. Right. You know what I'm saying? You're against Hamashiach. Yahweh Yah Basham Yahweh Shah, man. That's right. So hey man, uh with that, hey, if you if you reject him, he's gonna reject you. Period. You know what I'm saying? Uh unless you repent. But other than that, hey, it's two thirds is a big number, man. And the way it's looking, it's not looking too good for you. Hey, most of the two thirds are women. Oh yeah. How about that? Hell yeah. Hey, so you women, man. Especially women that deal with brothers, man. You, you supposed to be at the lowest of the low, man. Cause I'm, a, you, you, you women think you are some fucking great prize. Hey, listen, man. You women, by the time you even get with a man, let alone a man of the Lord, you done had a hundred men, twenty-five women. You sleep with one man, that's worthy of death. If you're a woman and you sleep with another woman, that's worthy of death. You yep. should have your head in the fucking ground, shutting the fuck up. Yep. And minding your business. You uh, feel your man does something that's against you. Hey, then your man takes that up with the Lord. You don't take nothing up with you. You women are fucking losers, man. Hey, like the scripture say, woe to you women that are at ease, man. Right. All right. Before that, it says the vengeance shall fail. Yep. You can see that's what set women up on high. Their jobs, their social constructs that Esau set up, this Willie Lynn syndrome. You know, you Israelite women need to snap the fuck out of them. Nevertheless. This is St. Matthew 24 and verse uh, 5. I'm going to start at 4. It says, And Yahweh Shai answered and said to them, Take heed that no man deceive you, for many shall come in my name, saying, I am Mashiach, and shall deceive many. That's why you got a lot of bootleg, fake Israelite camps out here. You got Esau with his blue beam technology. You know, everything outside of this truth is, like the brother said, anti-Mashiach against Yahweh Shai. You know, that's why um, he said in the gospel, he said, uh, Peter, you know, he said it's the rock, the, the, the founder, and he said, uh, the foundation basically said, and on this rock, I will build my church, and the gates of hell shall not be built against me. Everything outside of this body, but Peter is the head of the church of the Yahweh Shot, who is the chief cornerstone, but everything outside of this body is at the gates of hell. It's anti Mashiach. That was a good point the brother had made. It says, take no heed, take heed. So, like the Yahweh Shot said unto him, take heed, that no man deceive you. For many shall come in my name, saying, I am Mashiach, and shall deceive many. And you shall hear of wars and rumors of wars, and that's what we see happening now. It says, See that ye be not troubled, for all these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet. But now, he's going to what's going to come to pass. For nation shall rise up against nation. You see that now more than ever. And kingdom against kingdom. There shall be famines. You see that everywhere. Foolish shortages. Pestilence. All right, these great plagues, man, these great tribulations. And many sorrows in diverse places. Everywhere on the planet of the earth is something that's about to happen. Right now, simultaneously, man. Not just a spit spout of here and there. The whole world is, is just going bananas right now. Alright, it says, all these are the beginning of sorrows. But wait, there's more. Then shall they deliver you up to be afflicted and shall kill you, and ye shall be hated of all nations for my name's sake, because the prophets are the only ones speaking against these atrocities and, and bringing this truth out unfiltered through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. And Esau is coming down against that, but when he comes against us, the spirit says that the Lord Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai lift up the standard. Not no guns, not no fucking, um, uh -oh, what's that? What's that bullshit that the Moors kick? That sovereignty bullshit? Oh, yeah. Hey, look, ain't none of that shit gonna protect you, man. The mightiest warrior to ever live under Yahweh Shah said that the King David himself said that the Lord was his shield and buckler. You, a man who slain with his army 10,000s of men. You niggas are losers, man. All right, but nevertheless it says, and then many shall be offended and shall betray you and hate one another. All right, and I'm gonna just go down and I'm gonna get this last point. It says, Verse 21, it says, Then shall be great tribulation, such as was not since the beginning of the world, to this time, nor ever shall be. And that's what we're looking for. So, brothers, just tighten up and keep this shit real, man, and stay in the truth, man. Call it loud, you mean, I will buy a shit. 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 I